overseas tonight. It's happening again in Egypt. The last time there was violence like this, the last time Tahrir Square was this full of people, protesters, they were overthrowing Hosni Mubarak. Now the same thing may happen to the first democratically elected president, Mohamed Morsi. NBC's Eamon Moedin is in Tahrir Square for us tonight. Eamon, good evening. Good evening, Brian. Thousands of people have gathered here in Tahrir Square. It is a celebration. Fireworks are going off, people pointing lasers at all the buildings. Music is blaring. They feel that their struggle is finally paying off, even with a little help from the country's powerful military. Military helicopters trailing Egyptian flags today, flying in formation above Tahrir Square, as the huge crowd below erupted in cheers. Finally, they believed the military had taken a side, their side, in the showdown with Egypt's Islamist president, Mohamed Morsi. On national television today, the military called the protesters great, glorious and noble, and gave Morsi an ultimatum. 48 hours to, quote, meet the people's demands, or it would intervene. The protesters want Morsi out. Morsi, I'm telling you, you have to leave. You have to leave because you cannot fight all the Egyptian people. On Sunday, one year after Morsi took office, millions of Egyptians took to the streets in protest. There was violence, at least 16 dead, hundreds injured. The Muslim Brotherhood headquarters was sacked. A petition calling for Morsi's resignation gathered 22 million signatures. Life for many Egyptians has become intolerable. A crumbling economy, basic services almost non-existent. Food and fuel often out of reach. Morsi's opponents say he hijacked the revolution that ousted Mubarak and imposed an Islamist government that refuses to share power. Morsi supporters, many camped out in Cairo for days, say he was elected fair and square. They say the military is attempting a coup and they are prepared to fight. Tonight, Morsi is holding emergency meetings. But the crowd celebrating in Tahrir Square now believe his days in office are numbered. The military says this is not a coup, that ending the conflict is a matter of national security. But their ultimatum was music to the ears of the protesters, who toppled one leader here and believe they're about to do it again. Tonight, the response from the U.S. has been somewhat muted. No specific reaction to what the military issued today. But crowds here have been very critical of the Obama administration's position. They say that they have been warming up to the Muslim Brotherhood over the past year. Brian. Eamon Moedin live ahead, uh, above that wild scene in Torrio Square tonight. Eamon, thanks.